at me hard to get it up off me. Even the camera guy looked up from his screen and gave me the, damn, that's just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it off, he chipped me a hundred dollars in my paycheck. I'm sorry, even Jesus Christ would have paid me in full and tipped me after that shit. <laughs> but on to the good guys. Enrico Vega, Ooh, yeah. retired, yet still legendary, was the first porn star to initiate me into porn. So yeah, I bottomed, but I'm not gonna tell you which movie. <laughs> okay, 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 get a pen and paper. Anyway, we became really good friends and worked on a number of projects together. Including this one. Oh yeah, and uh, if you think that this show is corny, wait till you see this. accepted the fact that being a porn star meant that he would never find a lasting relationship. So I thought I would try to prove him wrong by dating other porn stars. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Morales and I had a hot winter relationship. And just like Frosty the Snowman, he disappeared. <laughs> Power T was still sowing his wild oats. Tickets, tickets, please. Entrance to my hall is departing now. <laughs> Alexis was a compulsive liar. Nikolai could never make up his own mind. I love you, I don't, I love you, I don't, I love you, I don't. <laughs> and Manny Torres had an ego as big as his dick and a personality as flat as his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have the hugest heart on for Mike Drayden ever since way back in the day when he was the the president of my Star Trek fan club. <laughs> <laughs> and I still haven't hit that because he's only into muscle queens. No, I'm not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I was just disappointed that after 10 years in the business, which is twice the average lifespan of a porn star, by the way, anybody who I would want to be with has seen my work 
and they can't deal. Guys become intimidated. Jealousy rears its ugly head and they can't stand the fact that I've been seen by thousands of men. Or they can't stand the thought of sharing me, whatever the fuck that means. When it comes down to it, I've always been honest from the very start. But every time I find myself singing, Take me for what I am, who I was meant to be. And if you give a damn, then you take me, Poppy, or leave me. I feel I've gained more infamy than fame. It's caused me to be objectified and sometimes avoided altogether in relationships. Truthfully, honestly, they mistake me for the character or persona that I'm playing right here. Right now, this very set have been developing for the past 10 years. I've been in musical theater high schools for the past three years, all over the city. All end up a porn star. But I'm still human, sensitive, caring, self-conscious, Vulnerable, scared, gothic, believe it or not, shy. No, seriously, it's true. <laughs> but, and I'm also a bit of a geek. Uh, who the hell am I kidding? I've got three other versions of the Star Trek uniform at home. <laughs> <laughs> but then so does my dragon. <laughs> but I'm a person who dreams of being more than just the character that I created. Or only being remembered for the 42 or so porn flicks I've been in. I lost track a while ago. I've reluctantly accepted my retirement since nobody calls or writes to book me anymore. I mean, what's a boy to do? What's next? I'm only going to be 30. And my career is over already? What the fuck? I dream of being utterly fantastic. No. Fabulous. No. Fantabulous. That's the best word I can think of right there, Debbie. Now, but it's only as I live in the gay, Latino, Bronxite, artist, HIV communities, or combinations of any of the five, but I still hear in Nico Vega's words echo in the back of my head about not being able to find a lasting relationship. And I know I don't want to be alone. But I'm so glad we had this time together mm -hmm. just to have ourselves a laugh or two. A little song, a little dance, a little woody in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. Too good. <laughs>